the newsroom. Just as Egypt's standoff reaches fever pitch, another political assassination in Tunisia, the nation that sparked the Arab Spring. Opposition MP Mohamed Brahmi gunned down in a hail of bullets in front of his wife and children outside his home in the Tunis suburb of Ariana. Brahmi represented Sidi Bouzid, the town where the self-immolation of a desperate street vendor led to the overthrow of the old regime. His murder comes the day after the Islamist-led interim government promised it would soon publish the names of uh, suspects in the February murder of outspoken opposition leader Shokri Belaid. That sparked international outcry at the time, with the Islamists on the back foot accused of passivity, uh, some even accusing them of complicity. Not true, says their leader, Rashid Hanouchi, who this Thursday uh, denounced the, this, this second political assassination. Hanouchi, who spent decades in exile in England under the old regime, um, is uh, from a party that's aligned with Egypt's Muslim Brotherhood. Um, he calls today's murder a plot to derail the revolution. It happens on the day of Tunisia's national holiday, with earlier the Speaker of the Constituent Assembly asserting that the country was on track to finalizing a uh, draft constitution and holding elections. In other words, on track to avoiding another Egypt, where the military has now overthrown Islamist President Mohamed Morsi. Now, is it safe to say Tunisia's transition is still on the rails? Today in the France 24 debate, we are looking at the anti-Islamist backlash that is unfolding as we speak. Uh, with us from Tunis, we'll be joined shortly by Ziad Mirsi of the news website Tunisia Live. Also with us here in the studio, social policy research at Paris's Sorbonne University, Saida Unisi. Thank you for being with us. I want to thank as well Adnan Ben Youssef of the secular left-wing Al Jumhuri Party for being with us, and Patrick Smith, editor in chief of the Africa Report. The France Fanquet debate, where you can always join the conversation on Facebook and on Twitter, our hashtag F24Debate. Um, let's begin, I guess, with uh, reactions to uh, what happened back in February. Uh, Adnan Ben Youssef, people were stunned when uh, this opposition leader, Shokri Belaid, was murdered. Um, there was, at the time, the, uh, the Islamist. Uh, uh, led government uh, said it would find the killers and just 24 hours ago they said we know who they are and we're going to name them soon and now today this what do you think of the timing of all of this uh, first of all i uh, just have to express my thoughts to the family of uh, muhammad who was a comrade and a friend and you i knew think, him personally yes we knew him and we worked together with his movement especially in paris and with his movement uh, there and my thoughts go to the, to his family to all the Tunisian people, actually, to the family of Shukri Belaid. And from that uh, time when Shukri have been killed, nothing happened, actually. Uh, many, many calls to uh, go through the truth for what happened with uh, Shukri. Uh, nothing have, have happened, and just uh, 24 hours under pressure, under... Uh, and there are people saying, where is the truth? And there are difficulty, political difficulty. They just said they know who have done. And uh, actually, uh, nothing go forward from that time. And we do not have uh, the reality of what happened with Sukri. Um, hopefully, there is no confidence today between people. Uh, the Tunisians are really uh, uh, afraid of uh, that situation. And uh, I, that, that, that is the reality and the truth. Since the killing of uh, Shukri Belaid, the confidence capital, the confidence between Tunisian is falling down day after day. It, it had seemed, Saïd Aounissi, that uh, things were sort of beginning to get back on track. When we, saw this, when we saw this statement saying, we're going to identify for you and name the people who killed Shokri Belaid. 24 hours ago, they make the announcement. And then this, this is, now. Yeah, I think um, it's, um, it, what you say is, is very important. We were at a, a moment in Tunisia, very uh, important, strategic, uh, hot moment, where 
in, in one way, we had this declaration from the previous Ministry of Justice saying that the names of the suspects are going to be said publicly and that the justice came to the end of the, the prosecution. Um, in the others, uh, in another hand, uh, at the Constitutional Assembly, we, we came also to a point, which is the final draft of the Constitution was ready, and uh, the uh, international experts like uh, the Commission of Venice have gave their uh, evaluation about it. So it was a matter of weeks, maybe, uh, uh, before the final draft to be adopted and for Tunisia to have a constitution. And the third thing is that we also uh, came to uh, the end of the election process of the electoral commission, uh, who is going to be in charge of the elections in Tunisia. And uh, the, the members has been elected uh, yesterday. And it was also uh, uh, planned to be discussed tomorrow in the plenary uh, of the uh, National Constitution Assembly, so so all this all this all begs these things, all this I mean, begs the question then it's, who it's, in whose interest is this assassination? Uh, yeah, this is the question. Who is profiting now from the crime? People who clearly don't want to see Tunisia becoming a democratical country with strong institutions, with new elections, with uh, a, a new elected uh, legitimate uh, uh, government. Our correspondent in Tunis earlier was saying that uh, there were many people pointing already the finger at Salafists. Do you agree? This is, uh, I think, uh, this is, uh, um, how we say that, um, it, only opinions. Personally, I can't say anything. I'm mm. not a prosecutor. I'm not. I'm not the justice. And but as myself, a Tunisian, before being a political researcher, I, I, I want the justice to make uh, uh, everything in order to get the truth but the justice uh, about not, the, the did crime. Not make everything. And, and this is that, that, this is, that the is the point. Uh, yeah. Even the family of Shukri is saying that the prosecution is not clear. It's nothing. Nothing have been said quite reasonably. reasonably about the prosecution of what happened and with, it's with Shukri. A lot of time. And everything mm -hmm. is, you know, under such. Uh, yeah, Shukri Bele murdered in February. Fe February. Yeah. And, and we from that, mm -hmm. we just have some declaration of political person. Mm -hmm. I don't think that it's a good thing that a uh, uh, minister of uh, justice right. or a former minister is the right person to declare whatever, what declare. But he was it's, the minister the, at it's, that it's, time. It's, 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 the, it's, it's to the justice, it's to the judge who is making the prosecution to deal with that. Patrick Smith, when you were in Tunisia, did you yeah. get the sense the country was starting to get over this was was focused now was was uh, mm. as Saida was describing was 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 focused on on completing its transition to democracy. I think you get you come away with a very mixed feeling. On on, on one level, there are these deep. Uh, traditions in uh, in Tunisian society, the constitutionalism, which is clearly very strong, probably stronger, I think, than than in Egypt, uh, and uh, you you sense the determination across the political spectrum of of, of the need for some cooperation. The, the fact we have to accept that the different political and ideological interests, and we have to work together. So I, I thought the corporate political cooperation in Tunisia was even at that stage six months ago still much higher. I mean, people said uh, Shokri's uh, assassination took uh, Tunisia to the brink, uh, but Tunisia is used to going to the brink and then backing off. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the fear is now uh, that it's gone to the brink again, and is it going to back off in time? Trade union leader uh, this afternoon was predicting uh, bloodshed across the country. And, and, his, and his call for general strike on, yep. on Friday. Uh, so, very dangerous signs. The widow of uh, emblematic opposition leader Shokri Belaid fired up when she spoke earlier. I call on all of those who are affected by the assassination of Shokri Belaid and Brahmi. Those who know that there will be more murders, take to the streets. We must take to the streets. We will stay until the departure of the government. We will not move from the street as the government will. This government is directly involved in a series of assassinations. We will not leave the streets. No. And then Ben Youssef, your reaction? Yes, uh, I think it's uh, the clear conclusion and the good conclusion. When Shukri have been murdered, nothing happened, and actually it was uh, staged at a political mm. aspect. Right now, we think it should move with a clear uh, signs, with a new way of uh, ending this transition. I think the um, Constitution, Parliament, 
have to be dissolved. It's very important today to tell to the Tunisian... Hold on, so dissolve the Constitutional Assembly, does that mean yeah. rip up the Constitution that's been written? Yeah, I think... I think and start all I over think, again? I think I think a salvation, uh, a salvation government with one mission, just one mission, to organize the next elections... But isn't that going to delay be, things even further if you... It, it will not delay things. I think that things, uh, all the specialists say is that in the situation, in the actual situation, even with the... Uh, the good aspect today, later, uh, will never uh, lead to uh, make election upon uh, six months. But hold, hold on, I just want to be clear one. on this. Yeah. You're saying dissolve the Constituent Assembly yeah, at course. this point. Of course. But, uh, He's not the only one saying No, we are not are the only one. Yeah. The document that's come emerging from that Assembly, have you got fundamental problems with it? We don't have the fundamental. We say that many, we s we've said and we're still saying that many important uh, things are inside this constitution and this constitution, this uh, draft of constitution is not so bad, but from this time, from today, things have changed and Tunisian people are waiting to know what is the impact on that on terms of governor, governments, on terms of security, on terms of what we are going okay, so to do from now till six months to make it possible to have election in this country in six months. Okay, this so you, is what the sign what so we are So your problem for. is with the interim authorities, it's not with the constitutional document itself. It, Say I mean, that. Well, well Adnan is quite interesting because he's not the only one uh, from the Jumhuri party who has this statement since this afternoon. And there is also Najib Shabi, who's also coming from an important party, uh, calling for that. And I think it's quite dangerous, actually, after uh, all this time, and after especially, I mean, the fact that we have a calendar in Tunisia now for the country to have a constitution, have a calendar, to have a constitution. Have a and, well, there isn't a firm um, date, is there? Sorry? There's not a set, there's not a set date as of no. yet. There's because sort of saying no. the end the, of the no year, date. perhaps this the beginning is, of the next. This is about the elections, which is not the, the question of uh, the yeah. uh, constitutional assembly, which is a right. matter of juridical legal issues inside. Uh, the uh, assembly in order to be presented to the vote, to the plenary, mm -hmm. and, and to be voted and to come into force. And this is the priority. And I think that um, this is the most important uh, uh, um, thing that we have to, to, to insist on. And I mean, moreover, um, I'm not sure that the dissolution of the uh, National Assembly, the uh, like to end brutally all this process, which is very hard, which is very long, but which is unique in the region and which is making Tunisia being a unique example of Arab countries uh, going through that. And we are, we are seeing at the moment that it is a total failure in Egypt that the political institutions has been suspended and it is not what should happen in Tunisia for the sake of... All right, so for you that revolution. would be throwing the baby out with the bathwater, disagreement on that. We, we are pleased to be joined now uh, from uh, Tunis by uh, Ziad Mirsi of the news website uh, Tunisia Live. Thanks for being with us. Um, we heard earlier, Ziad, uh, the uh, widow of uh, the other assassinated uh, uh, opposition leader, Shokri Belaid, calling for people to occupy the streets. You've been out and about in Tunis. What have you seen uh, after the news of this second big political killing? Well, I think the pressure is mounting in Tunisia and uh, the upcoming days are going to be extremely difficult. I was also with the widow of, the, uh, of uh, Mohamed Brahmi in the hospital and she was calling people to go to the streets as well, along with uh, uh, her daughters and son. And I feel that um, uh, the situation now is going to be led by the people itself in front of the failure of political parties uh, to react. We uh, still did not see uh, the uh, the reaction of the main opposition parties in Tunisia, but I feel that they are going to go along with what the uh, people are asking for. They're asking for, for the end of this uh, second, I would say, transition era. Uh, people are sick of the Constituent Assembly. They are asking for the government to step down. They really want to move on uh, with a leadership that is able to solve the problems and end this political violence and get us out of the situation we're in right now. All right, so uh, the, the, that call you think is going to come Friday from the streets when there's, when there's uh, that, that general strike that's been called for by the main uh, trade union uh, confederation? 
Yeah, the uh, people are already, I mean, uh, gathering in front of the Ministry of Interior Affairs. They are uh, uh, planning to stay there as long as it takes to take the government down. Uh, now the UGTT is asking for a general strike, and I expect the opposition parties uh, to, uh, who already asked for uh, the end of the mandate of the National Constituent Assembly to have similar demands. Patrick Smith. Again, we're, uh, we were going to broach a little bit more mm -hmm. the, the Egypt parallel yeah. in part two of our discussion, but I, I can't mm -hmm. help but listening, listening to all of this, the demands mm -hmm. of the opposition at this point yeah. is uh, uh, the equivalent of kick the bums out and, yeah. and, and the street decides. Yeah, well, it, it's the parallels with Egypt are pretty glaring. You know, it, it, um, it, it's you, 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 taking a, a, a very tragic uh, event like the assassination of Brahmi uh, and, and and running with it uh, and and building a you know a, a mass movement on the streets. Um, I, I think uh, there's going to be a lot of alarm on all sides. Uh, I think there are, but I think there, you know, there are criti critical, critical differences between e Egypt and Tunisia, uh, and, and certainly the role of the, the military in Tunisia. You, you cannot begin to compare with the role of the military in in, in Egypt, and it's a it's a much wider and in many ways, I mean, the, the, the social culture is very different in terms of the, the strong strands of progressivism in, in Tunisian society, and also the desperate poverty. Let's face it, that informed the the sort of the second stage of the uprising in Egypt, whatever you want to call it, coup, up, uprising or whatever. I mean, that desperate poverty, bad as it is in southern Tunisia, it's, it, you don't get the sense that across the country uh, that, that the, the economic imperative right, is what's, What is certain is that in February, when there was that first killing of a main opposition leader in Tunisia, it, uh, it really woke a lot of people up. Uh, the head of the Islamist Ennahda party, uh, this Thursday, after the killing, he's also denounced the killing. Uh, um, Hashed Hanouchi speaking on a local radio station. The person who committed this murder knew full well what he was doing. They wanted to stabilize Tunisia. So we are destabilized like Egypt, Libya, Syria, and Yemen. Tunisia is a haven of peace, the only candle illuminating the Arab Spring. This assassination seeks to put out this light and to push Tunisians to kill each other. And then Ben Youssef, your reaction? Yes, my, my reaction in, uh, in, in, I mean, some, way, right in some way he said the same thing when uh, Shukri had been murdered. So I think he's still in uh, the 6th, the 6th of February and is not now. He is under the time. And I think that... Um, is your criticism of Anata that it's too passive? Or are you accusing it like some have of that being complicit? They've been passive in action and uh, complicit in political, you know, underground. Uh, some days ago, the president of the parliament group of another have been uh, saying and giving some words which is really covering that's violence. And we can call, so, we can call up uh, his statement. It was uh, Sahbi Atig saying, anyone exactly. who tramples legitimacy in Tunisia will be trampled by this legitimacy. Those who dare to kill the will of the people in Tunisia, as in Egypt, the Tunisian street will be allowed to do so, including making the blood flow. What did you think when you saw that, Saida? Well, I'm, personally, I, I, I think that it's important to put that on, on the context. Um, in Tunisia, people are looking at what's happening in Egypt right now, and they are very afraid of the same thing happening in Tunisia itself. And when you look at the uh, operational mode of the killing of uh, Mohamed Brahmi, it's exactly the same one which uh, uh, killed Shukri Belaid. And when we see the outcomes of the assassination of Shukri Belaid, which was, I just recall that, the demission of uh, Jbeli government, and the fact that he uh, take uh, uh, he he left power he and was we had by a hard aligned yeah. prime minister as and a result actually true. a, a tougher a tougher was, more ideological prime minister he, that and, was but result. with a government which was more open to uh, independent profiles so are we also mm. um, going now to uh, to the same uh, scenario which is 
the fragilization completely of the actual government and uh, and that we have again a government H hence, which hence that call to resign. We're going to take a quick break and come back. Stay with us. This is the France 24 debate.